Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome to Dungeon Keeper Gold. I'm Computer, and today I will show you how to make this look like this with the Keeper FX mod. First, let's install the game, and I'm going to use the GOG version of the game. So install, default folder is fine, and while that is installing, let's download the actual mod. And there will be a link to this page in the description, of course, as well as to the store page on GOG. Download, download, latest release, and there we go. And while that's downloading, the game should be ready to play. So let's try it out just to see what it's like in its native form. One, it's DOS, which isn't great these days. It's four by three aspect ratio, oh. except for some reason, the intro is in 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which I'm not really sure why, because it should be 640 by 480, but alas, here we are. And the rest of the game is four by three. Start a new game. And Have a there. smile. Also, the mod has already finished downloading, but let's see what the game actually looks like these days. Here. We can zoom out using the uh, end and home buttons. And uh, everything seems to be working, except the game is running a little bit too fast, especially with the scrolling. And it is also 16 by 10 aspect ratio again. But we can build and have fun. We have to build each section uh, one at a time, which is not great. But everything seems to be working. And we're leaving. And there, and quit. And here is the file. You want to extract it to its own folder. And there. Yes. Oh, right. While we're waiting for that as well, let's find the installation folder. There. Good. Open you up. Now, we want music in the game, so we go into this music folder in the actual, like, mod folders, and we copy all of these OGG files in there. And that should be that. Now, the launcher. Now we can remove all of that and move you out of the way. This is the launcher for the mod. We can go into Run Options and select music files instead of CD and we can allow easter eggs and we can skip the intro as well though I kind of want to see it so yes uh, smooth and video and that should be it for this section yes then we have to go into settings and set the resolution for the game and we have to do it for three times here the menus I'm not really sure about, because they will be not stretched, but zoomed in. Well, we'll see in a bit, but uh, it is possible you might want to set this to uh, an, a four by three aspect ratio. That's, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Mount sensitivity, I'm gonna go with 80. And atmospheric sounds, enable medium frequency, low volume, I think. And then save. And there, now we're ready to install it. And we have to choose where it is. And again, we, we did have that here. Copy and paste. Select. The files in selected folder have been checked and are correct. Very nice. And the game is, or the mod is installed. Start game. See, it's a little bit zoomed in, so the text gets cut off. And uh, this is also, again, 16 by 10. Hmm. Everything here looks fine. We can go into options and mess around if we want to, but everything is pretty good. Start new game, original campaign, and here. Have a smile. 
set in the realm of joy, the people of Eversmile are plagued only by aching facial muscles, and not anthrax as we had hoped. Eversmile is a disgusting land of good humor and polite frivolity. I love that voice. Now, I will give you this, and then show you what it looks in 4x3 aspect ratio. There's a... Something is kind of... It feels like it's missing, but... Uh, oh, well. Small price to pay. And here we go. We have mouse scrolling, which is excellent. Yes, we can get rid of all of that. We can hold down shift and make an entire room in one click, which is excellent as well. Let's get all of that gold and uh, excavate this room also. Yes, hello, use the cursor keys. W, A, S, and D also work here. We can still scroll around and uh, slap them. Oh, no, that's evil. And uh, I do want to change one thing here. There. Feels like I get a better view of everything this way. And we can stop that now for a moment. We have more than enough. Let's also zoom out that. Just, um... Actually, never mind, we do need to bore through here. But this will come into play later. You make the floors, please. So, speed up. But anyway, I think that will do. Finally, let's make launching the game a little bit more user-friendly, because this shortcut here still launches the DOS version of the game. So let's move that out of the way, and also move the launcher's installation folder somewhere more appropriate, like your games folder, for instance. And then we can take the launcher executable and make a shortcut for it and or make a shortcut for the actual mods executable. However, this one does not have the command line parameters right now, the ones you find here. So let's copy the ones we have, like so, and then just copy go into the properties of this shortcut, go to the end, and add like so. Uh, if this has quotation marks around it, then you add the command line parameters after the quotation mark, not inside it. And then apply, OK, there, and exit. And now we can run the game again. But anyway, with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been the Keeper FX mod, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time. <laughs>